classic car cave. So we've had a little bit of a sort out in here. Um, it might not look it, but we washed the floor in here and we brought these rubber mattings. When, when the garage was completely full of, of restoration cars, I had this black matting everywhere and that's what, basically what saved the floor because it's epoxy resin, this green floor is epoxy resin. Uh, and obviously we've got a lot of work to do on this and because the winter's coming up, I'm not taking it to the lower garage, it's too cold down there. Um, we can keep it really well heated up here, can keep it 23, 24 all the time. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll work on this body and the tonne, get everything sorted out. And then once that's done and mostly welded in place, we can then take it off the chassis, the rolling chassis, and put it back onto the jig. And then we can do all the lead loading work, all the bits that need doing and so on. So we're, uh, we're going in the right direction. So, and these hinges are sorted now, as you can see. Ow. You can see there's no no movement now in the hinges same on the other side so we're definitely getting there so yeah um, we'll show you what we're doing this video is mainly about these uh, pins for the, the doors on the mini the hinges um, there was a little bit of, of uh, wear in them and I'd say I mean if this one is this one's the same this one's got really nice gaps on it um, even here I, I think it's fair to say you rarely see a Mini with a gap like that. But it is a bit of cheating. You don't need to do the door skin, but you do need to do the back of the B panel. And that was lead loaded, that was uh, welded in there. Because you'll, they never came out of the factory like that. So, and you can see it's the same on the other side. This car badly needs a wash. And you can see it's the same situation, you see how neat the line is. But we've spent a lot of time on the body on this car. I mean, as you can see here, with all this lead loading in here and, and on the front. A lot, a lot of work. But uh, yeah, I mean, it should last my lifetime easily. So there you go. So we'll take you on to repairing these hinges. Hopefully, a few tips we can show will help. Okay, so um, one of the complaints uh, the guy that inspected the car had was about the door hinges. And there was a tiny bit of movement in there, I have to say. So we've taken them out. This one, we've replaced the other side. Um, and you can see now that the, the door is good. There's the, the door that we're working on now. You can see that the shut lines are nice. There's a bit of dirt on it. But you can see the shut lines are still really nice. And the door, when it, sorry, I'll move the camera. So when I open it, it's not, it's not jumping up and down. You can see there's no, it, it opens really easily. And you can see nice shut lines all the way along. So that's that one done. So what we found was, is um, it looks like somebody's replaced these uh, pins, these uh, roll pins. This is the original one. You can see there's very little damage to that. And this is one I happen to have in a, a roll pin kit, fortunately, which uh, was here. I have this roll pin kit. So, what's happening now is Amir's put a 7mm drill through them. Um, because I think what's happened is, is the, the roll pin might have been changed, this one, but the hinges weren't cleaned out. So, in fact, there was still some wear in the hinges. So, when we checked them with the uh, caliper, there was a little bit of difference, bit of discrimination between them. So, they did rock. In fact, this one here, you can see when he, you can see it actually rocking a little bit when he, when he, that you way. can feel it, yeah. You can, oh. you can hear. If you push it yeah, side yeah, to side, yeah. you can see see the movement in that hinge. Hang on, sorry. That's you can see it there. To... It's not a lot, but what you've got to remember, that tiny little bit of movement there, extended by the length of the door, is exaggerated when it goes on to... Yeah, there you can see it. So when it, so what we'll do now is we'll re-pin re this one, clean it first, drill it out to 7mm, put the new roll pin in it, and then we'll show it you again. This is uh, the, the top hinge now. The top hinge on the mini... He's left and right handed, but the bottom hinges uh, you can use either side. And that one's done now, and you can see how tight this is in comparison. No, well, I don't think you'd be able to. No. You, in the vise, you can you move it. So, But the, the bottom ones are, are no problem. You can use them left or right, but the top you can't because of this ear, and there's three in it rather than two. So he's going to now drill th this out. You can see this is a 7mm. 
So obviously what we're doing is just barely cleaning the... the, the and what, that, what, what this is going to do now is, uh, is make the hole... So that bit that he's taken out where the wear was, so you have to come in the other side now. So where the wear was, that's taken that out from the roll pin, but of course the roll pins are bigger. I, w I don't know, but if you buy the roll pins um, from mini spares or mini, mini, uh, mini mime or whoever, I would imagine they're standard size. If they're not oversized, then you won't be able to cut anything out, so you're back to kind of square one. So yeah, I would go for a, a bigger a bigger size. So you can say you can see that's the top one there. There's the bottom part of it. So can we go up right maybe? And just to see oh. I mean can can we can we put it in? It's okay. Oh, okay. We can use just this Yeah just like my yeah it's not there's a lot of pressure on it is it? So we'll see how much of this needs out. You can see it's fairly Just a shave, and that's probably what it is. It's probably just that the, the, the hinge is a bit worn. Um, normally, it would be the pin, but you can see the pins are not bad in this, so they have been replaced. The bonnet better now. It's actually pretty much, much in line. It's good. It's a good uh, thing all the way through it. The hinge over on that side needs to come down just a slight bit. Um, we've tracked the car up. The hinges are all done on it now, so you can see. Actually, I think, yeah, I mean, not many minis where you can you have to slam them, which is pretty good. Same on the other side. So, uh, one hinge was brand spanking, and the other three needed work on them. And again, same here, very easy to open. I, I mean, I don't think you're going to get a, a bit of uh, you know, one close. And there's absolutely no movement there when you see if I if I open this you'll see no drop in the door. It's perfect. So and I think the lines are pretty good all the way around. You can see. So quite happy with that. Yeah, we just need to do this, the bonnet here, you can just see just here it's slightly high, so we'll elongate the holes a little bit for the bonnet. Get that sorted out. Um, so, so we've done the tracking, even with these this, uh, 13 by 7s and it's 12.55s that are going on it uh, with those arches. So tomorrow we'll get these painted up, get all these arches painted up and uh, uh, then we've got some rubber edging to put on it and we're going to take these um, aluminium pieces off. They're on my beige mini. And they're okay here, but they tend to buckle quite easy, as you can see there. Yeah, he's not happy about them, so I'm going to take them off. I'll keep them uh, as a backup for mine. So, yeah, the, I mean, they're okay, but like I said, they, they just kind of kink a bit. You see, they're kind of, they're very, very thin. Here, you see how they look like they're all bent, and that's the way they come. They look all right, but... Yeah, anyway, we're going to take them off and uh, we'll use some edging on it. So, yeah, that's it. Just a short, sweet one with these hinges, just to show you. Uh, it's an easy, easy enough. You can buy the roll pins, like I said. You can see all the hinges are back now. You, you can buy the... You can buy the roll pins, but just be careful. If you do buy the roll pins and there is some issues with the actual hinge themselves, the casting or the, or the, or the, the, the hinge... Uh, the hole in the hinge if it's been worn then just buy and replacement um, pins or split pin or split uh, yeah whatever god I'm definitely getting all zombies yeah uh, roll pins um, you might find then you put them in and there's still that wear in it so it might be something where you need to go a little step higher to say seven mil and put a seven mil roll pin in it just to take up that wear that might be in the castings Anyway, on that note, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. Take care.